everybody welcome back to another money and toys video today we are back and i want to talk about this because usually on the new year we usually do like a brand new office tour or room tour or whatever the hell you want to call it brad that's usually what we do for the new year. I can't remember if we did it last year. I want to say we did, but we, we may have skipped last year. However, man, I have spent the last three days, three or four days, completely revamping this room. And you may look at it and be like, dude, it looks the exact same. Apologize for the orb lights up there. Without that lamp on, lighting in here is god awful. So I did want to take my time there. But I have completely revamped. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but the last few days, I went to Walmart and I purchased a bunch of these totes right here with the pullout drawer. Drawers, and that is to clean up those boxes. I know if any any videos we film where I have the ring light going here and I'll have the camera looking at me right here and it's usually me here and you know the LED strips in the back. Usually you guys can see like the mess that is this room usually. Like in the background there'll be like a bunch of ish here. You know and quite frankly we've ran out of room. We've ran out of room in this room and so what I had to do is I had to go in and dissect underneath the table. Got rid of all those boxes. Cleaned out a whole bunch of junk. Decluttered. It's a great time for the new year right here and I figured I needed to declutter man so i picked up all of these i want to go through all of these drawers with you showcase exactly how i did it that way when i get new stuff in in the review station which is over here by the way so i got the christmas setup over here review stations here i couldn't quite declutter this area which i'll get into in just a moment however i completely set up the i can't tell you the last time i had the full arena with the crowd i added to the crowd i added some more depth to the crowd i had to go find basic figures put new clothes on them do all those different things so we have the complete crowd completely set up me and brad there in our swivel chairs on commentary everything for the pick fed is completely set up mdt live is perfectly set up right here all i gotta do is get the lamps in place however completely revamp that up here i didn't do anything nothing up here of note just a bunch of mock extra aew figures if you're wondering why those shorts are covering there that may be a pillowcase i think that's a pillowcase that may be a pillowcase or some shorts i don't know the reason i put those up there is because you guys can see the blinds right here it actually leaks sunlight through and i didn't want it to you know like lighten up the figures and whatnot even though this isn't the best place but i think these are all extras of mock AEW figures so they're just there move on down here you got excalibur you got a little one of 3000 mjf darby allen then we got the mafex spider-man right there which is a great figure absolute stud right there so i have him there and then i have a bunch of stacked up retros that's besides the point i completely redid the arena completely redid it got it all cleaned up completely cleaned it out took everything everything now has its own spot if we go over here i don't know if you guys have seen this table but this table used to have a bunch of ish on it underneath there was a bunch of empty wwe action figure boxes got rid of all of them didn't care the only ones remaining are these uh the aew action figures that have like chase boxes and different exclusive boxes because i want to save the stickers so i'm going to get the stickers off all these packages right here so i will be getting that done that's the only boxes i saved the rest of them i got rid of them but i'm thinking about getting rid of this table and possibly just putting something in this area i don't know exactly all that down there is the that's the thing outside the box box had to completely redo that there i did hang up some more figures here so i filled in all the gaps i finally added some stands to some of these cenas up here so i added stands to all these cenas that way they would not plummet to their deaths and i woke up this morning and some had plummet to their death so it doesn't work all the time but i think i've got it fixed now we'll have to see about that we'll cross that bridge when we come to it added some more figures up here didn't want you know some of these ultimates and things like that like some of these ultimates and figures over here from the new generation arena right here i didn't want those just floating around in a tub or something like that so what i did is i moved those to that shelf and then put some extra elites in these but let's shut the hell up, man. Let's dive into these different totes. So this far left one over here, man, this is just going to be like tools and paint. So what I did is I took, I don't know if you guys remember that box that I had just sitting on the ground full of paint. What I did was I took all of my paint and brushes and stuff and I put it in here. So this is every single bit of paint. This little block right here holds it in place so it doesn't slide back and forth. But we do have all of our paints here, different caps and stuff like that. So this is all my paint. So now all of it is in one central location. It's not messy. I can easily access it. I went up here. I got some like pins and stuff, paint brushes, some glue, sealant, all this different stuff. I even have the decal, you know, slide material right there. Great stuff over here. And then on the top, we do have like fake blood tools, you know, the trusty knife over here. Different random little toolage and, and stuff like that that it could have to do with the Fed. Maybe it doesn't have to do with the Fed. That's what I put all in there. Moving over here, this is a skinny version right here. Got some fishing line up top and some tape. This top one is just like ring ropes and parts. You got some ring steps and anything to interchange the arena. That's where this is. So ring skirts are 
are in there, all that different jazz right there. The middle drawer is just extra announce tables. It's got the Vindication ones in there and then the extra MDT Live one in there. Don't know if I'll add a second one yet. We'll have to see about that. I am playing around with the idea. On the bottom, you just have some extra tables and different things like that. Kind of like things that didn't have a place, they went right here in this extra like weapons and the little scaffolding, just any sort of stuff like that. Probably the best drawer in the entire house right here. This entire top drawer is all of my extra WWE Elite Ultimate Cena's. So this box right here has all of my Ultimate Cena's that are extras, and then we have all of my extra Elite John Cena's in this drawer. It's got some extra titles for future display, hats, all that different stuff. Even have a custom Ultimate Cena right here from One Night Stand, just chilling in there. So got the Elite 95, the new top talents. Just any Cena's that do not fit on the extra, you know, big John Cena shelf up there, I have moved them to this drawer. The next drawer right here is gonna be all of our Flashback Elite that do not have a spot on the shelf. So if they don't have to do with modern WWE in the last, like, I don't know, five plus years, they go in here. So you may see some modern figures in here, but not from, like, recently, if you if that makes any sense right there. And then on the bottom, we have your more recent guys. So you guys can see here, it's more recent elites and guys. All added in here, you know, the Elite 99, Trash Corbin, you got Cameron Grimes. So all those figures, Elia Dragunov, all those go in here. So now when I get a new elite, it doesn't just stand around. I have a place for it to go so that's kind of my main deal for you know getting these and clearing out i mean it has made a world of difference already in the space of the room how it feels how it looks it's just a lot cleaner environment i mean i'm feeling good over here this top drawer right here is going to be all women's figures so i have all my aew and women's figures that do not fit on their respective shelves so their respective shelf is right here so you have all those up top i have them on top of my you know my roster shelves and then we have all the women in here so all the women are in there they're doing their thing and then this middle drawer is is going to be basic figures that are missing heads or other limbs. So if you're missing more than just the head sculpt, you go in this drawer. So that, that's what this is full of. I found a ton of these, like cleaning out and junk drawers and all this different stuff. And then on the bottom one, this is every basic figure I have that is only missing a head sculpt. So let's say I need some more depth for the crowd or I need to add some stuff to the crowd. What I would do is I'll go in here, I'll pick out a random figure. It's only missing a head. I'll go to my fodder box pick out a head sculpt, pop it on there, throw them in the crowd. So that's how that will work. So that is perfect for me. Have my little strip coming through here. Now when I added this in here, you also notice I have some Jax figures just laying right there. That's my dog's fault. I can get into that in just a moment. But white trusty hair dryer up top here. In this top drawer here, I have all of my bags full of accessories, head sculpts. This one right here, you guys will see it's got like microphones and headphones and all that different stuff. If you guys would like a full 2023 room tour detailing everything in the room, the drawers, the shelves, like showing off every single figure in here. Let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe we can have, make that happen, but I did want to just post this video up, show you guys exactly what I've been doing over the last few days, because I feel like I haven't posted here in a minute, or just like the uploads haven't been completely consistent, and it's because I've been working on this, so I did want to upload this to you guys. So this is like some fodders in here. You have accessories, head sculpts, all that different stuff in here. In the middle section, we have interchangeable hands and some extra fodder. So this is going to be is the like Finn Balor, Daniel Bryan style skin tone. So I have a couple bags full of those. You have the Tanner skin tone with Seth Rollins. And then in here, you you know, you have Roman Reigns, hands white tape, gloved hands, all that different stuff is detailed. And then it's like a bunch of Seth Rollins fodder from a long time ago. And then this bottom drawer is just like random weapons, accessories, like storage units, the couch, little rollaway backstage box, the MDT kickoff table, stuff like that is in there. And if I ever want to get that stuff out, I can just unplug these lamp slide that back and then pull it out completely but there is that over here we have the mdt office if anybody has any idea what this is about maybe you could you know it's kind of a some people will get it i think some people won't get it but i'm working on a post to instagram about it so you, you guys will probably see that later but the office is a complete wreck because my son plays with it so i am in the process of cleaning that up real quick i got all the accessories and stuff like that i just gotta clean that up and then coming over here we do have the filming station you know the the camera usually sits like right here and we'll get into all the good stuff of course Got the Christmas setup over there, and that is pretty much what I wanted to show off. Just the complete revamp of the room, man. Of course, up there, I have all my mini elites and things like that. You have, like, my AEW mock wall, a lot of chases up there, shop exclusives, all that different stuff. We got the roster shelves, MDT video, of course. But that's basically all this is. All this video was is just kind of an update video and showcasing the arena. Fully clean. Room is looking pretty John Brown good. Very excited for 2023, man. Should be very fun. I hope you guys all have a great and happy new year. I don't know if I'll do the office tour tomorrow or I don't know. Like, I, I 
I want to go up here and like detail every single figure so you guys can see. And this is why I haven't done the full, you know, where we take my full collection and put it into the, you know, the backstage filming area and then go one through one by one through each figure is because that would take like 12 hours to do. And so I don't know what I'll do for that. I may do it. I may not do it. But you guys can see I'd have to get all these out, get all the tubs out and one by one through all of those. So we'll see about that. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all your thoughts down in the comment section below, but I am getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed new year, and I'll see you guys. I guess I'll see you guys next year. You cross